Hello everyone, I'm Alan Taylor for WVMetroNews.com. We're here at the WVU Coliseum where the Mountaineers have blown a 12 point second half lead in what became a 67-57 loss to Oklahoma. The story of the first half was clearly the play of Terry Henderson. He put up 18 points, including five three-pointers. This after West Virginia entered the game, having only made a little more than three three-pointers per game. 35-29 was your halftime score. The Mountaineers on top. They extended that to 12 points early in the second half, but ultimately it was Oklahoma coming back, closing the game on a 13-2 run over the final five minutes and 25 seconds to pull away for the 10-point win. Henderson closed the game with 21 points, but only three of those in the final 19 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's definitely frustrating, especially, you know, as hard as we play on D, try to play on defense, um, and then last second shot, they go up and get the rebound and end up somebody getting fouled, putting our bigs in foul trouble, and that's just it's very frustrating. Of course, West Virginia had already lost to Oklahoma during the non-conference portion of the schedule, losing 77-70 down in Orlando. Today, the Mountaineers seem primed for some payback, up by 12 in the second half, and with some of the outside shots falling for a change. But down the stretch, Oklahoma's offensive rebounding proved too much. The Sooners only wind up with a 40-39 to edge on the glass, but it seemed much larger than that down the stretch. Today we got out toughed. I mean, you know, the amazing thing to me is they act like sometimes that, 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 that that's not the case. I mean, I don't know how, how a guy can just continue to rebound a ball and rebound a ball and rebound a ball and you think maybe he's not tougher than you are because that's what rebounding comes down to. We want to reach for it and they want to go fetch it. Other double-figure scores for West Virginia, Jabari Hines with 11 points and Jawan Staten with 10 points and 7 assists. The big man for Oklahoma inside, Romero Osby, who had 21 points and 9 rebounds. I just tried to make it a point to, to rebound better. I think I only had one at halftime, and that's not me. It's not my game. So just try to go out there and rebound and help my team any way I could and uh, just try to get some defensive stops, and I think that ended up prevailing for us. That's a wrap from the Coliseum, where West Virginia falls to 7-6 overall and 0-1 in league play. Oklahoma now 10-3 and 1-0 in the Big 12. The Mountaineers now prepare for a cross-country trip to Austin as they face the Texas Longhorns on Wednesday night. Make sure to log on to wvmetronews.com for complete coverage. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alan Taylor.